What is going down, everyone? It's time for MojoBreak.com, the hype episode 262, guys. World Series full swing, football full swing. We also got a special box break of brand new Star Wars Chrome Black coming up. And there's a way for you guys to win some autographs from the Star Wars Chrome Black. So tune in later in the show to find out how you can win some awesome autographs from Star Wars Chrome Black, which we'll, we will be doing at MojoBreak.com. We'll be available at MojoBreakShop.com and at MojoBreak Gaming over there on Drip. So uh, join in and say hi to Joe over there. He's really excited for Star Wars. Cody's excited for Star Wars. Um, what do you think of the, about the product? I know we've done a little early preview so far. What do you think, Cody? I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I think you guys were saying uh, we ripped it just before we uh, started rolling here. So, uh, yeah, we you, you guys have that to look forward to. But just stuff where you can get a quick hit, quick auto, uh, especially with a huge cast of characters like Star Wars has. Um, and I think, too, like now that the universe has gotten so big, like it's not just these, you know, four, five, six huge autos you want to hit. Like there's something for everybody. The, the animated series is a huge hit, uh, obviously, with the Mandalorian and all the TV shows are all huge hits. So there's so much stuff from like a even wider world of Star Wars to get to choose from. Football hobby is on fire. And I should have brought my broom in here because we had a sweep going on. Sweep. Sweep, sweep. It's nothing new. I mean, the regular season is always a sweep for the Niners. But, yeah, uh, I mean, you could have the regular season. Yeah, well. and that and and the thing is, and I know that argument is probably getting real old with Niner fans, right? Well, you can't beat us in the playoffs. That's all. That's the only argument I need. <laughs> it's the only. And until you guys either win a Super Bowl, we or, won five of them. No, it. I mean, modern day. Wow. I mean, that was like <laughs> leather helmet era. When you guys were, like, winning Super Bowls. Been to seven, won five. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys are on a losing streak when it comes to Super Bowls. But the Super Bowl, you, you guys win, is now old news. So it's, it's all about the two victories. It's old news. Yeah. You guys, 94, Niner fans still living in it. Loving it. That's right. Living in it. Never forget. But the Rams won the last Super Bowl. That's old news. What do you think, Cody? I don't see any. I, I, I get the logic. Yeah, it makes sense to me. <laughs> um, whatever. Is it I doom mean, and gloom in L.A.? Uh, Can the Rams turn it around? I was going to say, if it's I, doom and gloom, it's because the, the Lakers are just falling apart. The, the I, That's what doom there and is gloom. There's a lot of – I mean, there's a lot of football to play. I – Watching, living in the Bay Area and watching the Niners fans' roller coaster of emotions is exhausting. I don't know how you got. I don't know how you guys handle it. It is just, you guys were coming off of two weeks in a row losing, getting dominated by the uh, by the Atlanta Falcons and the Chiefs. Chiefs, I can see the Atlanta Falcons was a little ridiculous. That was They're a good team. Um, they're first place, Atlanta Falcons. So yeah, I mean. Though easily the now they I think can take the crown of worst first place team in football. They're like bottom half of the league in almost every single team category right now, and uh, probably should have lost that game against Carolina. But what, we can talk about that. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. So no, answer your question. Not doom and gloom. A lot of season left. Not worried about it. We're probably going to win the division still. Still, so I'm not really. I'm not concerned. It's, and well, and that'll be a little preview as we get into our Mojo Break Blitz. We talk about some of the football stars. I think we could throw in Christian McCaffrey. Are people going to be you know? Seeing his stock rise, um, yeah. Try go to buy. Try try and go buy some sealed 2017. Stuff. Well, that's true. Yeah, he's 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 in there with Mahomes. <laughs> a little tough, but his rookie cards I have seen on eBay. So, are people buying them? I mean, I, as a Niner fan, I don't really want a rookie card of a Carolina Panther. Um, we've already been there, done that with Jimmy Garoppolo. Also, but let's, also a Stanford Cardinal though. So there that's is true. That local Maybe get some he, uh, he, collegiate. He stuff. used to be a guy I would collect. But I don't collect them anymore. Now, you guys bring up an interesting point, though, because, <laughs> yeah, maybe some Niner fans are going backwards and getting the contenders draft stuff. You know, maybe it's more acceptable to have him as a local college team. You, maybe. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want that. So I would want it more. If I was just keeping it, I'd want it more than a, uh, like a, a Carolina Panther. You, Panthers you would game. prefer to have a NT collegiate RPA. I like the over, contenders draft. Over, over like a 2017 NFL national treasures are you are you are you gonna are you gonna try to make your that argument maybe <laughs> maybe the the, the 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 colors are a lot closer and it's also oh, a bay man, area give up give it up yeah I mean just say I mean 
You, then go. You can buy them all. I know. It's good, good value. Good value. And then flip them when they uh, win, the, win the Super Bowl. They, uh, speaking of World Series baseball in full swing, um, Bryce Harper, does anybody care that he's doing well? He's, he's the doing, greatest. He is. And he I, is, I, think yeah, he, I think he's a strong buy. Absolutely but the greatest. The, the, hobby. the, Philly, the Phillies are winning the Super Bowl. The, the, they're winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's how good they are. That's huh? how good they are. They're going to win mean, the World Series, and then they're just – they're, they're just going to win the Super Bowl after that. Actually, the Eagles may actually win the Super Bowl. Exactly. Also, it should be mentioned that M- uh, the MLS team is currently in the finals uh, for Philadelphia. Things are do- they're doing pretty well in Philly right now. Things it seems like well. East Coast sports in general are like just on fire. I mean, yeah. you got the Jets, the Giants. I know the Giants got a, got a loss this weekend, but um, no, lo- don't tell looking that to up. Yankee fans yeah, know, after, after that collapse. Yeah, but they had their 62 home run moment in the sun, yeah, right? So. Um, but you got four guys you're showing here on the slide. You got Harper, you got Tucker, you got Baum, and you got Pena. Um, I mean, for from a hobby standpoint, who who do you think that people should gravitate to? Because I mean, I don't know. Things are down. We're seeing the dip. We're seeing everybody do the dip. My and, dip. And, and Bryce Harper's prices are actually lower right now than they've they've been, regardless of what he's doing. So. Uh, but is there some of these guys like Baum, who was a rookie last year, Tucker, who was a rookie, whose first Bowman's in 15, and then Pena, who's a rookie now? Can these guys, do we see any way for these car- guys to be investable or, or going up based on what's going on? I mean, uh, honestly, Harper is the guy. If you're going to invest in someone, I still would recommend it being Harper, especially because you're going to get first Bowman's. I mean, Baum, first Bowman's are cheaper than, you know, Harper's, and same with Tucker and that. But, like, I don't know if I'm going to throw down as much money as I would for like a big first Bowman auto. I would much rather it be for Harper, who I think relative to his his talent and what he's accomplished on the field and what he's doing right now this postseason. He's having one of the best postseasons uh, for a Philly we've ever seen. He's having a like if they win the World Series and he's the World Series MVP, we are going to say, wow, that was one of the great postseasons any players ever had and it just happens to be one of the best players of his generation i just i don't know how you don't if you but like first, nine, first, if you first ballot hall of fame right but nine hundred dollars nine hundred dollars on a first bowman nine five i'd I think have we to double check out. but yeah there is some like just I, giving I saw, it away yeah bgs 9.5 for like a 50 now it is going up saw some that are going some some numbered cards low numbered cards going for two three four thousand dollars but you can still get a really good Bryce Harper card for under a grand. And right see, now. and that's why the hobby is is you know it's definitely trends, and it's not so much based on what the player does in the field because I think if, I, if you looked up Ronald Acuna right now, he's way higher, way higher than him. So I mean, you can go down the list. Probably Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis. These guys are all higher than Harper, who's won some MVPs. Who, if he wins a World Series this year, has got that on 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 his on his you know mantle too. So, you know, what is it? Is it is it his face not being I, is, I it, is, like, is it because it's so long ago that it happened? I always like comparing Harper to Trout though, in in the way of like obviously what they do on the field and then their card market. Why is Trout and always has 20 been times higher? So much higher than Bryce Harper. I think it's well cuz the cuz Trout's career stats cuz Harper did have a couple tough years injury injury years like I, I think his first year in philadelphia wasn't that great um trout has always been consistent regular season as long as he's out there he always puts up mvp type numbers mm-hmm. but does it really justify 10 to 20 times more than bryce harper and you talk about like going in the way back machine i mean we're like what Two year difference. Yeah, that's what I, it doesn't make. So a lot it's of only, sense. it's 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 crazy. It's crazy to think what a Bowman first auto of Trout goes for compared to a Bowman first auto of Bryce Harper. Now I I'll be in the defense of Trout here, who I think is as good as Harper is. Again, a first bat. I think right now he wins a World Series. He's I think for me he's a definite Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. He's one of the great players of this generation. But I think it just speaks to how good Trout has been that he is. You can make an argument. And I think if you look at the stats, it backs it up. He is almost twice the player what Bryce Harper is. Trout is in a level of his own. He is. There is really no comparison other than the great names of the past, which I think is what justifies his price. And 
I think, too, if Harper played at a different era, didn't come up with Trout, he's got the shadow of, Har- of Trout over lingering over him forever. If he wins a World Series, it changes. And I think actually going to but Philly— But does it, though? I don't think it does. I don't think winning a World Series changes think, Harper's card value. I don't think it goes crazy, but I think as uh, I think for fans, the perception will change. And I think, But I think you're right. I don't know if the card value will change that much. But I think because of look at the on-the-field production, Trout has been— uh, a better player just a- a- across the board. And it does not take anything away from Harper, who has been a phenomenal player. And I think the worst thing going against him is that he plays in the same era as Trout and was a rookie. They're just so linked forever and ever. I think we put way too much value on World Series. I, I actually, so. we, we always have this conversation, got to win a World Series, got to win a Super Bowl, got to win a championship, whatever sport they play, we always transition to, well, their card value isn't as much because they haven't won a World Series or a Super Bowl or an NBA well, title. Well, and you got the Buster, Buster Posey theory, but obviously. I don't think it does change much. It, not I, for baseball. Baseball seems like the only but oddity. But I don't know if it really changes much for any of the sports. We always use it as a crutch to for a guy who we look at to be undervalued, and maybe they haven't won a championship, and we're always pointing to that going, well, that's why his cards are not worth as much. I think in football, there's something to it. Like, you win. I think Mahomes doesn't have the status he has. If he doesn't win that Super Bowl early on, he doesn't but, have that success But Josh early Allen. On. Josh Allen's cards are are really, really but expensive. See, you know, and I don't think they would go up much if he won a Super Bowl but, because they're already so high. But the impact of, a, like, you, you, you very rarely see a player in football that has the hardware that doesn't have the stats, right? So, like, I mean... Dan Marino doesn't have the hardware, but he also isn't in top five or top six, right? I mean, in yardage, maybe he is in yardage, but like, you know, you've got the pedigree of Brady, Montana. So those those stats follow along with the Super Bowls. Now, modern era, you've got Mahomes, and the, the hardware follows the stats. If Josh Allen does it, he's going to be right on that podium too. Baseball's just completely different. But it I don't. Even I don't think. I, I think Josh Allen specifically, his value is so high already that a Super Bowl doesn't really increase it that much. I was, and I also, I, what if something crazy happens and the Angels have a really, really good offseason, they put it together, and they win a World Series next year? I actually don't think that increases Mike Trout's value that much. It's, I, I think I think it's the value is set because the collectors have already put their money into it. They're too invested for it to go down. I right? think for a guy like Trout, it's going to be like, there's already so much invested that there's not really much wiggle room. Whereas a guy like Harper, at least, is a little more wiggle room. And I think also in baseball, why World Series don't matter as much is because I think a lot of fans rightfully understand it's kind of a crapshoot when it comes to the playoffs. We're seeing it right now. Three 100-win teams in the National League got eliminated before the championship series. Uh, the Heck, the Yankees nearly got eliminated in the first round. Like Baseball is always the most unpredictable postseason, so I think that might be part of why it's like, Hey, like once you get there, it's anybody's guess. Yeah, I know. I, I, I think what we need to have in the hobby is an approval rating. Is what it is. It's almost like, you know not to get into politics, but I think it's like a Q uh, rating. Yeah, I, I think because the way Mike Trout not only looks, the way he handles himself, he's got a seventy percent approval what's rating. Wrong? What's wrong? He's with got a seventy percent. Harper has a great look. There's seventy percent of people out there that will buy Mike Trout. Now Harper. The clown show stuff, the, you know, kind of a brat early on in his career, maybe his approval rating, and this is hypothetical, maybe it's only 40%. So it's just, it, it, and you know what? That never translates into high sales. When was he a, when was he a brat? The, the one thing about Bryce Harper is that he was in the public eye at, what, 16? People were already talking about him, how he was going to be the, the next coming, the next great baseball player. That's the Actually, and, you know what? I figured it out. He's got a beard. Just go back to, you know, the whole Yankee philosophy. Mike Trout, clean cut. People have more, more people like the clean cut guys, I guess. We cannot say this is bearded men. <laughs> you, what, what, no. We're Beards are here. good. Beards are good. I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out. Wait, I'm trying wait to, a sec- I'm wait trying a to go beyond <laughs> the field second. here. So if you're a professional athlete, baseball specifically, and you, you're going to be more marketable if you don't have a beard, Brian Wilson. Had the but beard of all beards. I'm talking about the hobby, though. Is Did Brian Wilson's card sell? Well, he's well, a he's closer. Okay. I mean, he, you, let's, they, uh, they you actually, know what? At one point, I'm they probably something. sold a lot better than they I'm probably should I'm on to something. Have. Who didn't sell in football that won b- multiple Super Bowls? 
Ben Roethlisberger. Did he have a clean shaven well, face? Well, I mean, no. he, a whole lot okay. there well, too. I mean, he had a little, little well, some other, some other. So his approval probably. rating is down, and you add the beard on there. But Mahomes, <laughs> does Mahomes have a beard? Can Tom, Mahomes grow a beard? Tom does, Brady doesn't have a beard. Does Tom, Josh Allen have a beard? No. Oh, yeah, a little bit, a mm. little bit like a mustache. Mm. Okay, wait. LeBron has a beard. LeBron has a beard. Okay. Now he didn't for now a while. Now he doesn't but have he a does. great approval rating though. But yeah, he has but in the hobby, LeBron's LeBron still. Steph Curry. Does Steph Curry have a beard? Are we uh, what is it? This okay. can't this can't be. <laughs> I'm shaving I'm shaving a beard tomorrow. This can't. I've just stumbled your breaker, on your something. Your breaker breaker approval rating will go through the roof. I probably it seems like it. It seems like it. I mean mem- what well Conrad doesn't have in a beard. history Conrad wasn't doesn't have a beard. Remember in His history, approval ratings through the roof. The, exactly. <laughs> Fair. Remember presidential candidates back in uh, there was one that lost. They we said we're going to go political. And we, I feel like we've and gone. I'm not naming them. Right. I'm not naming them. Well, you know, presidents used to always have beards, and now since the turn of the 20th century, they don't. So maybe you're onto something. I remember when I worked at uh, a local company that was around since the 50s, they would not let me have a beard on the sales floor. I could only have a mustache, which is weirder in my opinion. But there's just some stigma of beards, and maybe that's maybe I just stumbled upon something. We're about to go into this Mickey Mantle. Did Mickey Mantle have a beard? He did not. I bet you if we go through and all the highest selling guys, they don't have beards. With the exception of LeBron James, we're gonna this we are gonna do a, a full it, breakdown of this. On James next Harden. People don't like James Harden. Well, ZZ Top. Be- people like, bigger. Hey, how about ZZ this? Top. Wait a second how about here. This? Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> if Fitzpatrick doesn't have that beard, does the Fitz magic thing happen? Does this like cult of Ryan Pitts- Fitzpatrick happen? I'm not talking about the hobby. I'm just talking in general. It absolutely does not. So Fitzpatrick enhanced but he doesn't by sell. the beard. But he he's in, but, sell. but he's enhanced by the beard. Without the beard, he's nobody. Now, when you say beard, are we? I mean, are we mean like? <laughs> A huge beard, or are we talking just just a beard, just any a beard, kind of like, beard? Mustache is okay, but anything below the uh, below the top lip. What if is, they haven't shaved? Like, is this a beard? Yes, I have a beard. Yeah, you would have a low approval rating. A low approval rating. Yes. Yes. I, I Your don't, cards would not sell. Man, I there's a lot of players out there that have beards. Actually, uh, Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup has a beard. He has a beard. Does his cards sell? Not really. For a receiver, they do. Who's the Who's the greatest receiver of all time? Jerry Rice does. Did not he have, have a beard? No, he yeah, he did not have a beard. No, I think he does. He now. currently well, does now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But during his during so his you're era. saying his approval rating now. Yeah, but do you see him on TV? Only locally. I think we're on to something. I think I just this. Uh, that's going to be one of I my think qualifications. We just lost everybody. Everybody who listens to the show who has a beard is checked out. As we're a, like, I'm done with the hype. As a bearded, I'm going to vouch for those with beards as uh, Doug is turning on the beard himself. On, yeah. I am. I got to stand up. No. <laughs> it's okay. But Rock see, the beard. It's yeah. coming. Bring the beard back. We need we need another, you know. I'm I want to try this and my wife will hate it, but I think they'll we'll have the more beard views. Is back in the we'll have more views if I don't have a beard. I think we're going to go with that next week. I think that is I've always wanted to theory. just rock the Tom Selleck mustache. Yeah. Well, I, think I, I think I'll just shave everything, just leave the stash. Listeners, viewers, I can assure you, this beard ain't going anywhere. <laughs> staying right here. I'm well, staying right here. Your approval rating. Is Jalen Hurts <laughs> Jalen Hurts doesn't have a beard. It's I mean I I, I think it's like a nine out of ten here. No, I mean, but I could name a bunch of players who are not performing. That don't have beards in their in their hobbies tank. Like Kyler Murray doesn't have a beard. Oh, he has a beard now. Kyler Murray has a beard he has now. A big beard now. Yeah, <laughs> he actually does have a beard now. Uh, who else? Who else is doing? Well, it? Steph's got a beard right there on that little pop toy. Steph has That's a beard. True. He's got a beard. A little bit of a beard. Yeah, he got. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. Clay Thompson. That was a, probably the year that, that they. Clay got Thompson last has a beard. No, not in that card. But he and right now he does. Fu Manchu, maybe. We we will do a full in depth investigative report. I hope not on, on the beard. Yes. I hope not. Stay tuned. Two sixty three. Yeah, two sixty three coming soon. And All the right. funny thing is, is that we were trying to get through this episode relatively <laughs> quick, and we've gone on two tangents already. <laughs> do motor break tangent. Harper's still underrated. Like, we yes, he is hundred percent. Um, but he has a beard. More mantle making news. Let's talk about this one. What, what's going on with this PSA nineteen fifty two Mickey mantle? All right, so we've got two stories here about Mickey Mantle. One is, and I think, I think they're both related. One, the PSA 8 Mickey Mantle, it's the highest graded mantle going on sale on auction since the record-breaking sale. Uh, right now, I think as of uh, 
today, as of this recording, with 15 days left, just about $1.2 million is what it is valued at. Uh, and then we have uh, the... I didn't put the slide in, but I apologize. But anyway, a collectible, the app collectible had a, a big news today or the other day uh, where it was one of the first big buyouts was offered for a card. And it was the PSA 8 mantle at one point four million than dollars. This one. Different than this one. It's a different mantle. Uh, PSA 8 mantle uh, buyout at one point four million dollars. Shareholders rejected is, it. Right? Rejected it. They rejected it. So I think it's interesting. Do you guys think it's a good move that they rejected it? Uh, I know there was uh, Sports Collectors Daily did a good uh, write up about the sort of state of these shareholder apps, these card shareholder apps. Um, and you know, well, what are the requirements? Sixty percent to, to to accept the buyout? I would think it would be. Yeah, it would have to be majority. Would have to accept the buyout. So clearly, he said no. And uh, probably a smart move considering that this card was two weeks left is close is only you know 200,000 away from that buyout price yeah I mean I probably would too if I was a shareholder now I mean obviously I don't know where you know we had the the uh, we had Ezra from the collectible app on on the podcast uh, early on when they were first getting started and um, they probably want to see some of the buyouts happen right so they were probably they were they as a company were probably hoping it did happen to show some kind of what did they get out of it do they get yeah, like? Do they know. get some kind of commission? Some type of? I'm, I'm assuming some, some type of headline uh, for sure. Got to got to get some type of rake on on the sale, right? I would imagine that's the case, which is probably why the shareholders. I mean, they probably scoffed at it because they realize, oh, so that's part of that is going to go to them, which as it as you would expect. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 1.4 million doesn't sound that all that enticing suddenly. When again, yeah, you're seeing it's going to go for probably that, if not more, uh, in a few weeks here. Yeah, so we'll see. That's that's definitely one of my Grail card PCs. If you guys have a Grail that you're looking for, put it in the comments below. You're looking to get an eight, Doug? I'm looking to get. Well, no, probably not. <laughs> I would have to sell everything. Tough. I own. Yeah, what is it? What do we think that's going to end up at? By the way, it's two weeks left, and it's at a close to one point well, two million. Well, since he doesn't have a beard, it's going for two million probably. <laughs> No, I don't know. Actually, what did the uh, ten? The ten went. For you know, over? there's probably some Mickey seven. Mantles out there where someone drew a beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Now, yeah, that's true. Clearly, little, little devil horns or something too. Like glasses. Yeah. yeah, clearly. Um, 2022 origins, and uh, like I mentioned last week, you know, the 2022 class looking a little bit better than the 2021, and we're watching. We're watching Lawrence. Just, yeah, I don't know if Lawrence is the guy. You got Zappy playing instead of Mac. I actually had Mac playing this weekend. I guess they did get a win. Um, Fields maybe looking up, but like the Cowboys clearly own that game. 2022 rookie class is looking pretty strong. Origins is a hit based product, great for breaking. MojoBreak.com has your breaks for that. You're looking at three hits a box. We're doing uh, eight eight box uh, breaks of that and uh, different mixers. So head on over there to Chase Origins and uh, Tops Chrome Star Wars Black. We've got a box break right now. Coming up, stay tuned for the giveaway. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching the hype. Before we get back to the action, we wanna let you know about the brand new eBay Vault. Now, why vault your cards with the original marketplace? Well, that's because the eBay Vault isn't just a way to protect what you collect, it's a new way to trade. Not only have your cards never been safer, thanks to their secure climate controlled facility, but you're also locking in real savings. You pay no sales tax when you ship to or transact within the vault, and there are no storage fees for two years. Just imagine, what you can do with all that money that you're saving. And with the eBay Vault seamless in-app experience, you can track, buy, and sell your cards in real time. From listing your cards in seconds with eBay collection to tracking trends with the eBay price guide, managing your collection is more seamless than ever before. The eBay Vault. Buy. Sell. Secure. It's time for a box break. We got brand new Star Wars Chrome black one autograph plus a pack of uh, base cards and possibly parallels. We're going to be breaking these at mojobreak.com by subject $24.99 to get in a case break of this stuff. It's also going to be at Mojo Break Gaming. Um, so he'll be doing those live on Drip. Joe, say hi to Joe for us over there. And it'll be available on mojobreakshop.com. Should be a really good product, a good value, lots of chase. And whatever we pull, we're going to be giving away to people in the chat here on YouTube. So just comment on your favorite Star Wars character. It can be from any of the movies and that will qualify you for the giveaway we're gonna rip two and i'm gonna start good luck give it away give it away give it away now 
Adam Driver would be a big one. Harrison Ford. I know. Uh, Don't think Rosario Anthony Kiedis Dawson. is in this set. What's up? Don't think Anthony no Kiedis Anthony is, in, Kiedis? is in this set. No although, Flea? Although Flea might be in a Star Wars movie he or show. He could be. He's been in a lot. In fact, he is. He was. Uh, he I was mean, in, not uh, a lot of Star Wars, but just a lot of acting. Yeah. His, his credits are, are, he's got a got a long IMDb. Flea so was actually in Obi-Wan, the Obi-Wan spinoff show that just came out. So, so he got, got three trading cards inside here. Usually there's a parallel if it's similar to the baseball version. And uh, there you go. Starting off with C-3PO. That's a nice one. That's my era of Star Wars. You and the only character in every movie. Zam Wessel. And you got a parallel of Chewbacca. Very nice. <laughs> Number to 99. 97 to 99. Can you do the voice? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Not even good with I don't even know. What do you guys do? Are you guys okay? <laughs> We're Chewbacca. <laughs> you guys okay? <laughs> Bad. Which is hilarious if you try to do that at Disneyland. He'll he'll either yeah he'll shake talk his to head you. Or, it's great. Uh, all right, so it looks like we got a hood. Admiral Radis autograph, not numbered, but Paul Casey as Admiral Radis Cody. Uh, Admiral Radis. That would be uh, Admiral Radis was from Rogue One, uh, which is the prequel spin-off uh to the very to the original star wars that came out uh 2016 i want to say uh also same species as admiral akbar who uh has the famous line in return of the jedi it's a trap Ooh. all right now oh, man i'm i'm glad i didn't have to step in there and give that little tidbit of information i had it i had it but i was waiting for you fair enough you're, you're the pro I yeah i know um i got gotcha. you i, I got solid i don't want to step on your toes here <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go. And there it is right there. Now, going to be the same configuration as Chrome Black Baseball, which we Correct. know and love. Uh, I love this kind of configuration for entertainment products. I think we should do more of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I what agree. I would really love is a box cutter. Do you not have one over there? I do. Awesome. It's not, a Star Wars, it's, not, it's not a Star Wars one, but I was trying to uh, the stall vamping a little was, there. Was the vamping was so good that no one even thought like, yeah, you know, he's just he's just just let, right. let let him go with the flow here. <laughs> so we're gonna have one encased card, which I believe is gonna be an autograph. Should be should be an auto in every box. So we're gonna we're not gonna peek. We're gonna go for the base cards first. There should be one uh, one parallel. We do have one number to one ninety nine on the back. That's uh, isn't that isn't that baby baby, baby Yoda? Isn't that baby Yoda? Official Grogu? officially now named Grogu. Yes, Grogu. But but it's confusing. Well, we no, all I think just people just labeled it. Baby correct. Yoda. We all just called this child. It was the child, not named. We all just called the child baby Yoda. But Grogu now has Grogu. A Grogu. Grogu. Sabine Wren? Was that a... From the uh, animated series. Did I, did I Star Wars. That? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, I did. She's, from the animated series, yeah, huh? From the planet... From Mandalore. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, uh, and from Star Wars Rebels. This is a chrome card. Number to 199. Cut. Law Queen. Can't help you there. <laughs> got no Looks clue. like also from an animated... Series. I believe that would be either from the Clone Wars or... Uh, but good looking card. Yeah. For a second there, I thought it was chrome, but it's just the refractor. Or I thought it was a gold refractor, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Here it is. Slow roll it. Ooh, it's green. Hmm. Huh. Doug's peeking. I can't see. He's though. peeking. Oh. General Grievous. Is that... General Grievous. Grievous. I don't know if that is the voice that is actor. 99. It's like 88 and 99. Is that Matthew Wood? It says it on the back. I believe he's the voice in both the Matthew movies Wood. and the uh, series. So that's a solid one if you're a Star Wars fan. That's a big one. Another uh, animated series, right? He was in the animated series. I believe they used the animated series model there, but he is in uh, episode three. Good looking card, though. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. And you know what's great about these two is that uh, they already come encased, so they can go right back, right in your collection. Um, they look good coming out of the pack because they're in an encased. 
And you got chances at, at some big characters. I believe there's 70 characters on the checklist with some big names to chase. So, uh, and boxes are retailing around 149 for a guaranteed Star Wars autograph. It's a pretty good deal. So, MojoBreakShop.com. We're going to be doing these on MojoBreak.com via random subject. So, you can get in at $24.99 for a case break. That's 12 autos plus base cards. And, uh, yeah, get your Star Wars on Chrome Black. All right. It is time for the Mojo Break Blitz. Another week, another Niners win, another Rams loss, and another, if C-Rad was here, an epic Raiders loss. Epic Raiders loss. Epic Raiders <laughs> it loss. It was really bad. We should have had him. Real bad. Paint it up like we did with Dan. I'd be like, uh, guys, I don't know. I'm not a Raider or a Ram fan anymore. I'm a Niner fan. That's what he would say. I wouldn't blame him. No, he wouldn't. After that say, performance no, last week, you know, I don't blame him. I mean, how come nobody, you know what it's funny is the Niner fans – Oh, go after geez. Jimmy Garoppolo, but the Vegas fans do not go after their golden boy Derek Carr. I think the guy needs to be put on the I, hot seat at this point. He has a little bit of Fu Manchu going on, right? Maybe that's um, the problem. Well, I'm pretty sure if most Niner fans would take Carr over Garoppolo I don't know. right now. The guy does not have a winning culture. He may be a really, 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 really nice guy, and he's probably in that same category as Tim Tebow. Like, if you needed him to mow your lawn or do your laundry, he couldn't say no oh, to I you. I thought you meant, like, on the field. I'm like, okay, come on. Like, he's, well, he's Tim better. Tebow, definitely not. Tim Tebow was a winner and got blackballed in the NFL. But he um, stunk. <laughs> He, he went stinks. to a playoff in his first season. Yeah, not because of him. He he stinks. Stinks. Did he win a playoff game? And he sure. Had like, he had like 80 yards passing. Again, we like not in a quarter, game? but like in the game. Do we want to play this game again? <laughs> Bad QBs that won Super Bowl slash playoffs. Like there's a lot of but them. He, but unlike Dilfer and these guys, he only had one season. They Did didn't you have give a, him another chance. Do you have a beard? No. Uh, that's right. I never had so, a beard. High never approval rating. rating. Definitely Florida. not a guy with a, who would get a beard. Sorry, my, my mic is like. Yeah, he knows what's up. Um. But I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's a serious question. Does is Carr? I mean, Vegas days Keister's got to be a little tightened up right now, right? I mean, they are clearly out of the playoffs. Josh McDaniel clearly looks like he should have never left New Orleans, and uh, Cody on the fly is making things work. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold the mic here. Yeah, Manny, you yeah. you're having technical. You had the light that didn't want to go on. Yeah, and no, now, it's now, fine. Yeah, now you see looks, what's happening here. That's that's that's, that's what's it's going on. Because he's got a beard. <laughs> 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 this is the moral of this episode, apparently. So, uh, mine's about to fall. Yeah, we're going off full too, like I clearly have I think, like I, think I was. Uh, I think I was rocking that mic last week, and yeah, yeah maybe so I, what was going on? Maybe I broke it. It was the calm before the storm. It's okay. So, but we got week eight stars, and there's literally only one I see on here: Christian McCaffrey, probably one of the greatest trades in Niners history during the season. Maybe the only one we've done in the middle of the season. Um, and uh, look good, three touchdowns. First guy since Ladanian Tomlinson to throw, run, and catch one. So it hadn't happened since 2005. Um, gr look, gr looks like a great trade. We have two up there. My left-handed uh, buddy right there looking good. You got A.J. Brown. and you got uh, Well, he's left-handed thrower. Yeah, but he's Sorry. not. We, we've actually. I know. We debunked it last we, week. Yeah. But I'm so still he, holding on to it. He's not a lefty, so you can move on. But <laughs> looking good, looking good. Get um, over it. Left-handed thrower. My favorite left-handed thrower in the league. He's the only fair. One. That's fair. He's the only one. That's acceptable. And uh, AJ Brown. I mean, you did agree. anybody think the Eagles were going to be seven? And is it eight and zero? Seven and zero? They're now seven and zero. They look easily like the class of the NFL right now. Jalen Hurts. Like Jalen Hurts also is at the point where he does not have to do a lot in these games, and it's kind of now he looks great, but like. They just go up by, like, 25 points at halftime, and then it's like, cool, we just coast to victory. Like, every single win almost, I mean, other than maybe the Cowboys game, has been just, like, just get up big and then just kind of coast till the end. So could be the thing that if you want to make that argument of, like, is it going to be too easy and then suddenly go and face a really good team in the playoffs, they do have a, a weaker schedule uh, than a lot of these other teams. But uh, the, the fact they that have the Cowboys. NFC, they have the NFC East, which is way, way better than every other division in football. So uh, clearly the star of the 2020 rookie class after that Monday night stinker. Clearly, Ooh, I, way better than Joe far, Burrow. Yeah. Not ready to go that far. Joe yeah. Burrow doesn't look like he knows what's going on out there. It's Joe's still a he's still really good. It's he is so hot and cold. But how do you that. lose to the Browns in terrible decided fashion? It wasn't the, even the Browns. The Browns are a lot better than their record reflects. Right. They're they're they're. I mean, they sh they could easily be over five hundred. Uh, Brissett is actually he's been a stud. solid. He's a stud. He is. 
But he's that's a stud. a stud. He's a stud. He's, he's fine. out there winning games. He's fine. He's a he's a really he's fine. He's a really good backup quarterback. Exactly. There like, you go. <laughs> he's fine. I he's, might take him over Grappolo to be honest. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> that trade. Look, and I'm a Jimmy G critic, but let's not go crazy now. <laughs> I mean, is, Justin Herbert looks he injured out is. there. I mean, I don't know. Jalen Hurts is showing everybody I, that he's I, the number one guy. There is a lot, and I'm not just saying this lot because I'm a I'm a rampant. There's a lot of football left in this season. Yes. If I about nine games piece, I would not want to be getting hot and playing my best football in the first half of the season. Agreed. But if your team right now was seven and zero, oh, you'd be like, I'd, I well, we're but, but the thing that. is, it doesn't matter. Until you get to the playoffs, you can go. You could win fourteen games in the regular season and get knocked well, out home, your first playoff. Home game. field advantage is pretty important. In it, 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 but it is not. It is. It isn't. It 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 really is not. I I would not say that at all. Well, this season more than and maybe I'm just noticing it more. I would probably say the home team's winning. Easily sixty percent of the games. Easily. I have to look it up, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know sure. what the stats are, but yeah. it, it just seems that's like not that big of an advantage. That's really not though. <laughs> that's no, it's an extra ten percent. That's ten yeah. percent. But you were, you're making it sound like nine out of ten games, like the home team is winning. That now that's an advantage. Right. But we're not sixty percent's not not that big of a deal. I mean, and, I'll take and when that, it comes but... to the playoffs, every ten uh, that's ten percent. I don't. Chance. I don't. I think. I think that is. Blown out of proportion. Look, does look anybody the, agree that they would invest in Jalen Hurts over Burrow or Herbert at this point? No, mm, no. Yeah, I'm Here. not gonna. No, I think Herbert's still. I mean, again, Herbert's I know, injured. I know, I know. Herbert's injured. Yeah, no. Was he going to be playing this week? I he was um, this week. I think they already had their bye. I know who they play next. Yeah, week. they just had their a, bye. A big do, L. Do you think? Do you think the Bengals are not going to make the playoffs? No, I don't think they are. They are 100 percent going to make the playoffs. No. They they are going to make the playoffs. I would still put money on them making the playoffs. I they're think gonna that, they're going to make the playoffs. And a I, wild card. I, I I think the the Chargers are going to make the play. I think that both I think both the teams that you're like the both quarterbacks you're saying are having terrible years. I think both those teams make the playoffs. They're going to have a better. It's it, there's still a lot of football to play. The Bengals didn't really come on until the second half last year. It was that huge second half run from Joe Burrow. That's when you want to get hot, Cody. Right. You want exactly. to get hot going into they the got, playoffs. They got hot that's, at the right time. That's, that's why I look baseball. at. That's why I look at the. It is. But exactly. it is though. <laughs> but it is. But it can be. We've seen that. We've seen multiple times of. It's not. It doesn't happen all the time. But teams that get hot at the end. Well, I think I run. would. We I would readjust. I, I agree in a sense. Healthy going yeah. to the playoffs. Giants. We've I, seen that I, multiple times. I look at. I look at the Giants and I look at the Eagles and I'm like, yeah, they're having a great start to the season. But it's still a lot of time. There's still a lot of season left. What if what if they lose four out of their last five games going into the playoffs? Yeah. And that Cowboys That's, team in that division looks really, really. With that good. being said, and is I there any hope? Be, is there any hope for the Raiders then? I, sure. The, the season. The, I think there's. I think there's. A lot of, there's still a lot of football. I don't think that they're much. I don't think the Broncos are much better than them, if they are at all. Yeah, I think yeah, I think there's at least hope. But I, I think let's let's shift over to don't, talking about don't like fourteen teams make the playoffs out of yeah, each. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. The, well, let's talk about some of those teams that are in playoff position that are having an interesting start. I are they to for talk real? About. Are these quarterbacks for real? They're not the guys you would expect. Not the guys we usually talk about. But I want to point out four guys that have been surprise quarterbacks early on. The biggest surprise, Geno Smith for the Seahawks, the first place Seahawks. Uh, he leads. He's tied with Aaron Rodgers for the most touchdown passes in the NFC right now. Uh, Daniel Jones of the New York Giants. They have a great record. I don't think it's because of him. P.J. Walker is in for the Panthers and is actually been pretty good. Pretty good. That's very surprising. Former XFL QB uh, and Marcus Mariota. For another guy who was years ago a, a hobby darling, but has fallen off, but now is part of a and first clearly place. has a beard. Yep. And clearly, <laughs> has, a beard. clearly has a beard. Daniel Dimes, smooth as a baby's bottom. Yeah, I think Daniel Dimes is my guy. Well, right there. and look at, and I mean, Daniel Jones of these four clearly has the most hobby stock, most you know, the most invested in him among collectors. I think recently on November first. Uh, a BGS 9.5 rookie contenders cracked ice auto sold uh, for eighteen hundred twenty five dollars, which I wow. think is entirely too much. That's money. that's that's a lot. I mean, but it is a big market. It that's is a big too, market. That's too much. He may not even be the quarterback. 
no. in like a year or two. And he's not been that great. Like, that's I, a good defense and a I great don't think running anybody, game. I don't think anybody there is, no. is for real. I think Gino might be. No, I really do. I, I think I think Gino's I think Gino is having his this is this is his jam right now. This yeah. is where he's at. This is the this is the best he's gonna do. Um, I, I he's I a mean, good he's a good he's a good backup quarterback. Uh, but see, the best he's gonna do, he is top ten in almost every quarterback. Yeah, category but do right you now. do you think I if, don't know if, if up he that ends way. up. If he ends up leaving, he's going to get a franchise quarterback type of deal. You got to remember, he's 2013. Right. That's, I mean, he he, oh, is, he is getting close to being a decade in the NFL. Yeah. Recently, uh, BG, on October 26th, uh, Topps Chrome BGS 10 Auto sold for $227. It's about where we're at. That, I game. mean, I think that's that's a lot. You yeah. probably You probably... <laughs> Three, three, four years ago, you probably could have got that card for like seven bucks. But yeah. also, let's point out the 2019 football wax. I'm stuck on Daniel Daniel Jones right this because I think that 2019 not only does it have the best receiver in the league with with Debo Samuel, it has Daniel Jones opportunities, and the wax is a lot cheaper than 20 and 21. He's still not even. I mean, you Kyler. Referred, is, you just refer to Debo Samuel as the best receiver in the league. Did I say that? In 2019, in 2019 draft class. I mean, <laughs> Kyler is still the guy I'm chasing. Out I of don't that. know. I'm down on Kyler, man. I mean, I am too, but I also think that there's still room to grow there. I think, I think good time to buy Kyler. If yeah. He, if, he, if he's – the talent's there with Kyler, right? It's such an L on the cards we bought. I need to see – We have I, so many Kyler I cards. I need to see what a crack dice Kyler is. That same card is for Kyler. Kyler is like my Bitcoin. It's just, it's just, it's plummeting. Kyler is the Bitcoin of the football hobby. Let's put it this way. Kyler and Daniel Jones cracked ice at that same exact price, 1825. Which one are you taking? I feel like it's oh, Kyler. Easy, it's Kyler, right? Kyler. Easily. The Doug's right. hesitating, though. Well, judging that I spent 10 grand on one, I'd probably buy one at 1800, 100%. Well, yeah. You, for sure. you know, just to cost look. average it down. Yeah, by That's a lot. Right. <laughs> by a lot. You went, you went from being into. One at ten grand. Now you're two at five grand. What's yes, up? and yeah. Mariota, we're just six grand. Who whatever. cares? Mariota is. It's a lot of like fifteen eh, rookie class. You got Jameis. I mean, you do have the great Sean Mannion in there too. But um, yeah, yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I would. I are they for real? I'd be going with Daniel Dimes. I'd be going with Daniel Jones based on the market, based on the team, and uh, the chances. Uh, and the dude, we saw him at the rookie premiere. He knocked the tire thing off the. The, the he threw the ball so hard he I knocked the so tire he, thing off. so he's it's a good thing that he's good at Flame throwing thrower. throwing a football because that's pretty much what he does for his job I would make the <laughs> argument that them being as good as they are and him not really performing means I think this offseason uh I think they're gonna make a move for a big QB I think they will too yeah he's also the fastest I think the fastest clocked quarterback in Lamar? the Lamar no, maybe I was gonna say no Daniel Jones. Lamar Jackson in uh in New York oh, for the New yeah, York Giants who says no I don't think they move on Daniel Dimes. I think I this think, is the year. I, I think, think this. I think them being this good. Uh, well, is I the, think is going to give them the. I, I think. To do it. I think the saving grace for Daniel Dimes right now is the fact that they are having a good year. I think they. Yeah, were, he's due a contract too. Because I think 19. they were. I think they were going to move on. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think they. I think he was going to be a stopgap for this last year, and then they were going to be like, whatever. We're going to figure out maybe a Lamar Jackson, maybe yeah. somebody in free agency. Uh, go big free agency. They have the pieces around it, and they got a coach now. Now just go get that quarterback. All right, so who, who's our picks for this week, player wise? Uh, I actually liked Kyler this week. I think he's going to have a bounce back. Uh, I know they. I think should they be a high scoring game. It yeah, always that's, is. That's why it's against what? It's against Seattle, right? Uh, this week against for the Cardinals, they've had a lot of high scoring games. I think he uh, turns the ship around a little bit. I'm going work. with Justin Fields this week because they they're playing at home. They're playing Miami. And I think it's going to be a shootout. Actually, I think both quarterbacks score a lot of points. I think they both score three touchdowns, but I think the Bears take one home over the Dolphins. Ooh. Let's scroll Crap down game. a little bit. There's yeah. none I like there. <laughs> not not feeling Hurts, not feeling Jalen Waddle, not feeling Dalvin. Oh, man. You can go man. with Tom Brady over your Ram. You're I'm flailing not, well, Rams. Well, we, we, have, we, have we have the Buccaneers number. Yeah, but, but they just got divorced. He's going to be playing with some passion out there. He has been playing with. There's been z the exact opposite of passion for Tom Brady all year long. Clearly, no beard either. Uh, scroll up a little bit. You're, it's that. Gee, down. <laughs> That's right. Just right in the middle. Just. 
really want me to pick one out of one of those four. No, right? pick anybody. It, it just, I just put four on there. You know, it doesn't mean you have to pick anyone. Why don't you double down your guy Burrow against the Carolina Panthers on a short week? They need. Well, I mean, they have to. They have to win that game. That's like not. It's not going out on a limb. I'm. Uh, think. I'm taking the. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons over the Chargers, even though I think the Chargers. So who's going to be the stud? Do you think Mariota is going to gonna get it done? You know, actually, the the crazy thing, and we didn't even talk about it. Uh, Calvin Ridley got traded. Yeah. yeah. Jags. Yeah. That's, crazy trade. He like, can't play, though. Crazy, I, crazy, he crazy trade. He can't play. Yeah, but you want to talk about – I don't know what Jacksonville gave up for him. I just, I just saw that the trade actually did happen. You want to talk about building receivers – for Lawrence, I think that's a great play. Yeah, they're like a year away. I mean, let's face it. I, Ridley probably shouldn't be suspended for the whole year Absolutely. for what he did. No, right? not for a fan the duel, NFL right? brought um, to you by FanDuel and DraftKings. Yeah. So, also, you know, I thought that was I, out of one of the, out of all the trades that went down on the trade deadline. That was the one that and really he didn't have a chip on his shoulder. I mean, yeah, that I might thought, be. I thought that was great. I mean, yep. next year Lawrence has a legit number one who does have a chip on his shoulder and. Didn't fully take, rested. Didn't take the wear and tear of an NFL season. Yeah, yeah. I, think that's um, fair. I will say I put Vikings on there, but I actually think that's a trap game. I think Commanders actually might win that. Taylor Heineke looked good last week, and uh, also the news of Dan Snyder seeking to sell the Commanders. It's going to rejuvenate them. I'm doing. It's going to give again, them a boost. Atlanta Falcons. Need. My boy Kyle Pitts. Going to do it again. He had a good, your other he had, boy Hawkinson got traded. Hawkinson got traded. Good for um, my fantasy team. Not that we're yeah. talking about fantasy. He, uh, he's now Kyle Rudolph in Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I much. also let's let's jump right into fan. That's what everybody wants to oh, hear. That's all they were waiting for. This whole everybody show. wants to hear. I want to know more about your fantasy football team. Feeling good about TJ Hawkinson going to the Vikings. <laughs> it's good for my squad. I like it. I'm that's, I'm so stoked. I have Chase, uh, Claypool going to the Bears. Good. That's the real news. I also have Hawkinson, and uh, I'm benching him. I'm benching him until I see I, what are the chances of him getting into that system and just making plays out of the gate. That's true. Here's the playbook, and he's just, like, going to kill it. I also oh. just dropped my backup tight end, so he better be doing well. <laughs> Speaking of uh, <laughs> trades, so there's a card show this weekend, local here, at, at the Westgate. the Not the casino, the Westgate, uh, the Westgate Mall it's in Saratoga. Saratoga. And uh, they have uh, Hufunga going to be there and Jeff Wilson. And I'm like, well, I don't think Jeff Wilson's going to be there. He's going to be at the game. I'm sure he's not like, I got to fulfill my commitments for the card show and not show up to the Miami Dolphin game. What if they just got somebody? Because that's a fairly common name. Just They got sports card (laughs) investor to show up. (laughs) Same name. Same name. Jeff Wilson. Yeah. So, So what if you had Jeff Wilson show up instead of, Jeff Wilson, the football player. It would fulfill the, the, you know, it would fulfill it. So, perfect. Jeff, if you're watching, listening. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. That if people are lined up on their bye weeks for signings, that's uh, kind of kind of set it off there. But. So, I'm assuming the Niners are playing at home. The Niners have a bye. The Niners, the Niners have, have a bye. Yeah. So, that's why Jeff Wilson well, is maybe, showing up. But maybe he will. Maybe. He, well, no, he doesn't because no. he doesn't have a bye. No, right. Dolphins are not on a Dolphins, bye. Dolphins are playing. Dolphins are playing the Bears. Yeah. So if you're going for Jeff Wilson Jr., sorry, I, Chicago. Bad. So he's gonna he's probably already. Bad, I'm assuming he's already in Chicago. Well, maybe you know they could just get another Niner running back that they had there. You know, the local kid uh, might as well. He's a new guy. Let's see, let's Introduce see. himself to the fans. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Could happen. Could happen. But yeah, might not, not that li- anybody might be a little bit might more. Be a little, might be a little bit more expensive. A little yeah, bit just more. Just a expensive. little bit. Yeah, just a little bit more. <laughs> well, that does it for this show, guys. Thanks for tuning into the hype. Follow us at MojoBreak underscore com on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you hit that subscribe here on YouTube if you're watching the video. And if you're watching the video, we do have audio versions of this on Spotify and iTunes and all your major podcast platforms. Until next time, peace. Mm-hmm.